Girls of Reddit, did you ever have a guy that you wished you said yes to when he asked you out? What is the story? My grandma just told me this story, in high school, she met this guy. He was very intelligent, fairly good looking and greatly humorous. She really liked him and she was very aware that he likes her as well. So one day, he finally asks her out and she rejects him. My grandma continues to say about how he turned out so well with money and a really nice life. So I asked her, well why did you reject him? And her exact words were, I couldn't date a ginger. Ah. Old people. Edit. Best part is she ended up having a red-headed son. One time I said no because I was too busy with my exams. I had my head buried in my books when he asked me. The timing was all wrong. I regret saying no. Dude, balls in your court at that point. What's wrong with asking him out once you're not in finals anymore? If a girl tells me she's busy, but maybe sometime in the future, while giving no specific timeline, I assume that's code for, I'm not interested. If it's not code, you have to be the one to broach the subject again. I'm not going to keep pestering you. I've learned my lesson. Had a guy ask me out in high school, really fun guy, very nice, funny, athletic, smart, and good looking. I turned him down because I knew he had already had, and I wasn't ready to have at that time. It wasn't about his morals, I did desperately want to date him, but I just felt like I would never be able to make him happy, and I was embarrassed that I hadn't had sex. A few years later in college I ran into him when I was home on break, he's still the perfect guy, hasn't changed a bit. I screwed the pooch on that one. Had a very close friend in high school who really liked me for years. I was his prom date and all, but when he started to want to be more than friends, I was really hesitant so I said no and distanced myself, even though I knew I should have said yes. Long story short, I'm Sikh, and was rebelling against my parents' wishes to be with a practicing Sikh. Such a stupid reason. We stayed friends though. In college, I started to like him even more but we both had so's. I kept thinking of telling him how I felt, but I kept these feelings in my head all throughout college without saying anything, and instead stayed with my dusha bag of a so, and then when I was getting close to admitting everything to him, he passed away while on vacation with his family. Well that turned dark fast. Two guys come to mind. Guy one was so sweet, and I did like him, but he was going too fast for my liking, saying I love you too soon, etc. He somehow lost heart in pursuing a relationship with me when I told him to slow down as it was making me uncomfortable. We rekindled our thing a few years later, but it wasn't quite the same and it didn't amount to anything serious. He's now in a long distance relationship with a beautiful girl. From what I can see from the outside of their relationship, he's a very sweet and devoted boyfriend. I sometimes think I missed out. Guy 2 was someone I really really liked but he was always talking to Slash about other girls, so I didn't think he liked me that much. One day, he asked if I'll go out with him, but it was set up to seem like a joke, so I said no. That's ridiculous. Because I didn't want to appear too eager and vulnerable. I found out later that he was serious but he wanted to seem casual, this happened in high school, hence all these stupid games. He had moved on to other girls by the time I found out, and went into a relationship with this girl. She was his first girlfriend. When they broke up, it devastated him. Then sometime after, we got together. I was his rebound, so it was doomed from the start as he wasn't over her. I thought that if I had said yes to him when he asked me the first time, I would have been his first and he would have loved me that much. I did this event at the Queen Mary and could not stop staring at this guy. I just thought he was the most gorgeous thing on the planet. My event coordinator noticed and ended up bringing him over the last night when they had a ball. We walked around the deck and when I told him how I had slipped and almost fell he's like swooped me into a dip and said like this. He tried to teach me how to dance, which he was great at, told me about how he traveled and loved school and all the same things as me. It was the best slash most romantic night of my life. I had to go back to my group and he stopped me on the stairs to kiss me and said, this is the last chance I am going to have to do this what do you want me to do? I told him I needed him to keep walking because at the time I was in an on-again off-again relationship with a total scumbag. I think about him all the time and beat myself up a lot for passing on someone so great for someone who didn't care about me. 
If I could redo one thing in my life it'd be that night. Damn it. Edit. I know I am a complete he was unreal and how wonderful he was. Yes I fully admit to being that girl who picked the douche but it was my first relationship and lesson was definitely learned. After stewing on this and beating myself up I think I am going to try to find him. He has a pretty uncommon name luckily, last I heard he had a girlfriend but we'll see. Edit 2, contact has been made. I don't know what to do with myself now haha. Shitty mental health, don't feel like I could have a healthy relationship because of it. Back in my teens my self esteem was so low it was easier to believe otherwise really nice guys were trying to make fun of me rather than that they were actually interested. Some of them were guys I had crushes on for years. Yay, sad face. Relevant first kiss story really attractive and popular girl flirted with me in high school and I always played it cool because I thought she was making fun of me. I didn't want to be a big baby and make a big deal, so I just went with it and tried to be uninterested or witty. We hang out and she kisses me. It was my first kiss and I was super nervous anyway and was still paranoid she was making fun of me and trying to make me uncomfortable and nervous so she could tell her friends, lol he is so noob with chicks. So she gently pulls away after a minute, and I laugh. I thought I would beat her to the punch, but instead she cried and I felt really bad and had to try to convince I liked her and was glad she kissed me. Edit, sorry everyone, I didn't mean to be the op that never delivered. No so it was a cold winter night and we parked in some empty parking lot and the windows are all fogged up. We're 16, 4 years ago, it's late don't know where else to go but want to be together. So, she cried for a minute and thought I was laughing at her. So I tell her that I wasn't laughing at her, I was nervous b slash c first kiss, she doesn't believe me, so I lean over and hold her cheek and kiss her several more times and tell her it's okay. She comes around and we make out in wonderful teenage awkwardness. Then she drives me home. We hung out after that day and had fun times, looking back it was a 500 days of summer situation of sorts. She had a relationship, but liked me and wanted to have fun with me. I wanted anybody that wanted me, but especially her. So she wants a fun carefree time and I wanted a lot more. We split ways when she went to college, but it was friendly I guess. Now I've gotten more attractive wood r slash fitness, and a little more confident but I've never really dated anyone since then. I can rest now, knowing I've delivered. I'm a dude and in my high school years I had such low self esteem, and so much, how the hell do I even show a girl I'm interested? That I probably missed signs of interest many times. So you're not alone. I confirmed this about a year ago when I came home from college and saw a bunch of old friends and girls I was interested in. I didn't think any of them were into me then. After talking with them a while I found out about all the opportunities one had missed. I felt like a complete for missing the signs. Had exactly the same situation happen to me after high school, still have not learned a thing from it, just graduated college and I'll probably still come to the same shitty realization. I'm a guy who had the same issue. I was commonly the butt of that type of joke, so every time I heard someone was into me. I thought someone was trying to set me up for a laugh. I didn't have a single date all through high school, then about a week after I graduated, a girl basically chased me down and beat it into my skull that she wanted me. That was the first time I really thought someone could find me attractive. I still barely believed it for a while, and when that relationship went to shit, I went right back to that thought and didn't date anyone for almost two years. I think back now, and I see so much time and potential wasted. I was lean, athletic, smart, a little awkward, but usually fairly funny. I had a lot going for me, and I just didn't believe it. So, depression, then weight gain as soon as I quit wrestling in college. Don't get me wrong, my life is fucking awesome now. Got a great GF, a good job, and live in paradise, but there was a lot of time I spent sitting around wondering what the hell was wrong with me, and the biggest thing that was wrong was my complete lack of confidence. It was freshman year of college. I made eye contact with some random guy from across the quad, he walked over, sat next to me, and we had a short conversation. He invited me to his room before my friends showed up and dragged me away. Turned out we lived in the same building. I went to his room, and we talked and joked as though we'd known each other our entire lives. And constantly, this kick engineer student was complimenting me, the mediocre biology kid, 
on how smart I was. He and I ran into each other several times, and there was always a palpable tension between us. But I was in a long distance relationship at the time and I never went for it. I turned down the only guy to ever give me butterflies in my stomach and make me smile like an idiot. Edit, thanks for popping my gold cherry, kind stranger. Now off to drown these strange, conflicted feelings with vodka.